starting to move. If I just beat that thing. Some of the thing, most fun yeah, fishing you can have Ooh, any time of the year is when fish are shallow. Largemouth bass are no exception. In the early season, skinny water can present some real roll up your sleeve stuff. Pursuing bass where they have nowhere else to go but up. It's power fishing. Put the pedal to the metal and chunk and wind. The name of the game? Look in the shallows for dumb fish that want to bite. This presentation tactic can work in the spring, summer, or fall, but sometimes are better than others. In the North Country, not too long after ice out is a perfect time period with many fish seeking warmer water and the forage pushed up into the shallow depths. The cover is generally sparse and horizontal moving baits have a tendency to work very effectively. Spinner baits, swim jigs, swim baits, shuddering baits, and the like. And hey, let's face it, after a long winter, it's nice just to get back out on the water, cast and catch, no matter what the species is. Today, on The Edge, Al and James Linder do just that, breaking out the bass gear for an early season run on a Midwestern natural lake. With spring starting to warm the shallows, the duo find bass seeking out warmer water and the food pushed into the same locations. Definitely a recipe for some fun early season action as they chase skinny water bass. Wow! Closed captioning is provided by Smooth Moves, adjustable boat seat suspensions for a smoother ride. Oh man, Jim and I can't wait to get on the water. It's been a really long winter. The ice on this particular lake went off six days ago. And uh, what are we here for? We're chasing early season largemouth bass. I've been dreaming about it all winter. Jim, you getting ready to go poke a few in I open am. water? I got, got the rods are ready. I think we're ready for our initial mission here. He snuck out this winter and went south for a while. I didn't. I'm really looking forward to this. Bass are bass, some might say, and they would be 100% wrong. First off, what kind of bass are you talking about? Peacock, striped, spotted, black, brown, or white? That's all semantics, because they're not all related. Next, what time of year is it? And where are you located in reference to the equator? These are all important questions when you're talking about chasing any bass. Today we're talking about largemouth bass in the North Country, and these northern strain of fish are a bit more resilient than their southern cousins. They have adapted well over the years to the cooler climate. The southern strain of bass can be thrown for a loop with a slight temperature drop, and the northern fish may not be affected. Northern bass will generally spawn as soon as possible when the water temp and moon is right. Southern fish, in contrast, can spread the spawning over a period of months. One thing is guaranteed, during the springtime of the year on lakes, no matter where you live, they will get shallow. As a matter of fact, this is when they may get as shallow as they'll ever be throughout the year. So shallow, the squirrels are scared. The northern bass, way up here in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, the Dakotas, anywhere from the Mason-Dixon line up north where you get ice on the water, uh, these northern strain bass are really something. These fish here are eating and eating now, and the ice barely been off this lake. In, in fact, we've learned over the years, we know how to catch these largemouth bass and smallmouth bass through the ice. And uh, 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 they're a little diff different. A lot of people don't think about that. You, you think, well, boy, the ice just went off. You can't catch a bass. Isn't, isn't the case. These fish know that they got to, they have adapted to the environments that they live in. And uh, uh, that's the neat thing about fish. They, they can adapt and it, they do things we, we don't even know yet. They're, they're, I don't want to say they're smart, but their instincts to survive are quite in, in, incredible. And uh, uh, you see that, how different bass in different parts of the country kind of relate differently. You get in mid part of the states and that water temperature starts getting, you know, in 40 degree range, even though those lakes might only have ice in the bays, fishing can get pretty tough for a largemouth. For us way up here where they're, they're used to being under the ice for months and months at a time, you know, I can catch them with ice in some of the bays already. And, and you know, I've caught, I had one big catch on one body of water the day the ice was crystallizing when I got off the, the lake that night. It was, your line would just about cut, it was so thick. And the next day it was frozen over and a buddy of mine and I caught 17 largemouth. 
And uh, uh, so, you, you know, knowing a little bit about the, the fish, a bass is a bass is a bass, right? You hear that all the time. Yeah, yeah, kind of, but uh, not really. Yeah, you know, they have their little nuances and they can adapt to different environments, whether a lake, river, reservoir fish. So it's so important to know, you know, uh, the, the basic nature of that fish and, and the environment, the part of the country you're in, what makes that fish do what it does when it does it. And that even boils down to preferred baits at certain times of the year. The basic nature of that fish is the first and foremost thing you got to really understand before you find them. You know, then you understand a little bit about the location, what to look for, and then getting the right lures, the right lures for the conditions you're faced with on a body of water, you're fishing. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? But it still is the answer when you put it all together. You know, the bite we had today, uh, uh, it's not been real fast, but uh, again, these fish are still staging up. On some of these natural lakes that we fish, uh, let me, here, here's what a staging area would look like. What you can see here, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. You can see this is the back bay here, but what this is, there's a, like a five foot ridge right here of rocks. And it's sort of a high spot and the wind is blowing right into the front face of this spot. As Al was saying, those fish in the not so distant future, the next couple of warm days are gonna pull into this bay and start to uh, spawn in the next couple of weeks. But this is a really critical spot in any type of uh, sort of spawning area. There's one, big one, big one. Ooh. Oh, 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 there we go, Al, that's a big boy there. This segment has been brought to you by Donlinger Automotive, and they want to encourage you to drive safe on the road and on the water. Let the adventure begin with Lund's all-new Adventure Series. Check out the special introductory price on the all-new Adventure Side Council. Features include a center rod locker and rear jump seats. There's also an optional ski pylon. 1775 and 1675 is also available with a full windshield or get the 1675 in a tiller. Lund's Adventure Series. Your adventure awaits. To find your nearest dealer or to get a free catalog, visit LundBoats.com. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. Introducing the all-new V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Plus to cross touch to auto chart live on our largest screen ever. Fish might call it an invasion of privacy. You'll call it a busy day for your live well. Only from Hummingbird. At Mercury, we invested thousands of hours of engineering manpower so you can enjoy hours and hours of untapped horsepower. Introducing the all new V6 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. This segment is brought to you by Big Bite Baits, designed to bring the big bite to your line. Oh, look at it. I can it. see that. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a big, big walleye. walleye. I think these guys would like to be dead. And... Ooh. Well, Shuttering like up that. really big walleyes. Have you seen that happen before? I was gonna say when I set the hook on him, I thought that was a really an interesting strike. It's a, Beautiful fish, though. Look at that. Huh. 
There's some guys would like that fish tomorrow. I oh, I get I guarantee you. Yeah, there's a tournament here tomorrow. And the bite has been really quite slow. I think they'd be very impressed to catch that little beast tomorrow, tomorrow morning about <laughs> on the first spot. Why do fish move shallow? Well, it could be for many reasons. Food, weather, nature, habitat, or any combination of these factors. In rivers, rising water will have a tendency to push fish shallow. That would be weather related. In midsummer on lakes, bass can get right into the shallow slop chasing bait. That would be more forage and cover related. In the fall on a reservoir, bass will often get on the flats for one final feeding binge before winter. That would be nature related. Well, in spring like this, it's primarily nature. These northern bass have a natural instinct to stage near where they'll be spawning. It just so happens that the water temperature in these locations are generally warmer than the rest of the water column, and there happens to be forage present in these locations, and many times they are gravitating to any form of cover in these shallow zones. So is it food, weather, nature, or habitat specifically? We like to think about it as stackable positive elements. The more you stack up, the better your odds are on catching fish. Ooh, that felt so good. You just load it up on that thing. Yeah, they really crunch it on it, don't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> man, oh man. It felt so good. Look at that. It's been a long winter, boy. I've been waiting a long, long time. I've been waiting for you. I've been dreaming about you. Do, do you ever dream about fish? I've been dreaming about this bass for about a month. I knew ice out wasn't too far, too far away. Oh, you just made my day, baby. You know, we got out here. And I was really kind of surprised. There's a lot of muddy water. And uh, a, a lot of baits like swim jigs and, and jerk baits and, and, and at the, you know, slow moving baits ain't gonna work. So we, we, we went to something that'll always work when you're in dark water. I got a Terminator spinner bait on one rod and I gotta show you this thing that, uh, you needed something that makes noise. So it's a, a spinner bait and this is a new bait from Terminator. And uh, it's called a, sh a shutter bait, Terminator shutter bait. And uh, you know, it's, it's a vibrating jig, except look at the front of this thing. It's different than any of the other ones. It's got a real different feel, and I'll tell you what, you get a lot of shake, rattle, and roll with this baby. In this dark, muddy water, the bass know that it's there. So we're bouncing back and forth, we're catching fish on both, uh, uh, on both baits. You need baits that, you know, moving a lot of water, making a lot of noise and uh, it's coming together. Now when we're talking about trailers for spinner baits or bladed jigs, there are really only four shapes we use. One is the boot tail, like the big bite cane thumper or suicide shad. Next would be a crawfish shape, like the swimming craw. Third would be a big bite four inch fat grub. And finally is a minnow profile. The five inch jerk minnow is a good example of the type of shape. Add a dab of super glue to the nose of the plastic and you'll get more life out of the bait. All of these trailers add bulk and extra action to the shutter bait. You need to try all four because one will often outproduce the others. Let the fish tell you what they want. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's a good one. That's a big one there. That's a big one. That's a big, big, that's a big boy, Al, there. Oh, you know, that's one thing about this technique. It's like so many different things in bass fishing that uh, they become really presentation specific, meaning the rod, reel, and line you fish with. And with this uh, style of bait, a lot of guys really prefer a very, very soft action rod. This is a legend glass, seven foot two medium action rod. And what it's about is actually, it's a really uh, forgiving uh, presentation. And you're, that bait's vibrating and moving along. And it's moving relatively quickly. And uh, you want the fish to be able to almost overtake it like a, a, cr a lot like a crankbait. That's a big boy. Yeah, look at that one there, beautiful bass. But it's a really specific uh, rod, reel, and line that you want to fish these baits with. No question about that. Boy, that's a tank. Look at that thing, Al. Beautiful fish. I'll get her back in the water. But the thing is, what I got is a uh, 14-pound suffix fluorocarbon, 7'2 
Legend glass rods, real soft, and then a uh, 6.3 to 1 uh, Daiwa reel. And what you're doing is you're reeling along and it's vibrating intermittently, put a little uh, twitch into the bait. When the fish hit it, it's sort of weird because you'll just keep on reeling and all of a sudden the rod loads up and you got them. You don't want the bait moving along if you move it too fast. A lot of times what you'll do is uh, pull the bait away from the fish. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid. For 70 years, you've known us for our high-performance rods. Now, it's time to meet our machinery. 32 pairs of hands. Touch, craft, and test each St. Croix rod. Overkill, not with our reputation on the line. St. Croix, the best rods on earth. Fishermen are always looking for an edge. Moors, locations, the right equipment. Here's one edge mechanics have been using for decades to help engines run smoother and last longer. It's Seafoam Motor Treatment. Seafoam works to do a few important things exceptionally well. Cleans dirty engine deposits, lubricates critical engine areas, and helps to protect the entire fuel system from harmful fuel residues. To me, this stuff is like a miracle in a can. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. What you want to do is flip the bait out. I'll let it sink down. Right now we're in three to four foot of water. And then you start reeling it, but you'll notice I'll put sort of a bend, a slight bend in the tip of the rod. And you do this a lot for like when you're crankbait fishing, but you can see, feel that vibration intermittently putting a little change of cadence of the uh, shutter bait as it's moving along. But when the fish hit it, you just sort of load up and you just keep on reeling and then you just reel into them. You don't do like a, a snap set that you would use for like throwing a worm or a jig. What did you leave me here? I got muscle milk. Oh, that's empty. You have gotten me. The mega Italian style. I Sounds guess good to me. So, so give me a water. You got? Is there water left in there? Yeah. That's what I need. Thank you. Just, just cooking. It's, it's, it's heating up. I like that. I like to be. T and the fish should it's be interesting in it. spring. You know what I mean? It's cool in the morning. We've got out here is about 48 degrees now. It's supposed to be 77 by the end of the day. And the thing is, what's so amazing on how fast these fish can move in these northern natural lakes like this, like we were saying earlier, the ice left this lake literally a week ago. The ice, this lake was frozen. And now that you get in these back bays, 57 degrees here a week later, and those fish know it, and they really gravitate to that warming water really quickly. Okay, next spot. You know, there's a variety of different baits that work uh, really well at this time of the year. It's a lot of them what we term as, uh, you know, moderate to slow moving uh, chase baits, meaning uh, a spinner bait, a crank bait. Rattle baits are really good at this time of the year. And another bait that's become really dominant are these blade jigs like the shutter, shutter bait. It's a lot of vibration, can cover a, lot, a tremendous amount of water, but in the last number of years, it's interesting to me on how a lure like this has become such a dominant 
player in tournament bass fishing. I mean, big time. A lot of tournaments are won on this particular bait. And it's not only in spring, it's year round. This bait really catches a lot of fish. Got him. Good one, good one. You got him? It looks like a better one. I think we'll sort of hold in this position with the spot lock. There you go. That's a good one there. Oh, yeah, good one. Well, good one, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Big boy? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, oh, man, Jim. Look at that. This feels so good this time of year. Water's so cold, you can barely move your fat butt, huh? Uh, how's that one look? Uh -huh. <laughs> Another monster. Look at that. That's a big fish. Look at that. Look at how fat she is, Jim. Uh -huh. Wow. I love it. I said I dream about this, especially the about the last two or three weeks before the ice goes out. And they're either for smallmouth or big, real big largemouth like this. You know, the neat thing for us, and I know you all can't do this, but what we look forward to is getting all the new toys for the season from all our marketing partners and put them to the test. This is Jimmy's brand new Lund with all the humming bird birds and Minn Kota's, the Merc, it's all rigged out. This is its first maiden voyage doing a television show. We got all our new rods and rods from St. Croix, some of the new reels from Daiwa, uh, a new baits to play with. And as an example is the uh, a shutter bait that we're fishing in between with a spinner bait. This is what we look forward to the beginning of the season. We got all these new wrinkles to play with. Actually, you got a lot of the same things that you could be doing. New baits, you, you, you find a couple new baits. If you're a walleye fisherman, a bass fisherman, musky, crappie, you're always looking for something new. And that's the, there's kind of a magic and excitement in that early season, you know, first trip or two out on the water, a day like this with sun cooking on your bones after a long winter, oh, it feels so good, it feels so good. Spot we'll spot in there. this spot for yeah. a second or two. Wow. Boy, he's he's so docile, I can't even believe it. <laughs> this, you, you hit him in this, this water, it's like, it's sort of odd, this water temperature. It's really just started warming up, so it's sort of somewhat deceiving. That might that, be my uh, new favorite walleye bait. Yeah, I, I, was gonna say, I know one thing. According to these other boys that we saw, spoke to at the, the motel last night, most of them haven't been catching any fish at all in the last day or so in practice. And it's interesting that we happen to catch walleyes of this size on this bait. It's sort of interesting because those boys would really like to know about that. Hey, you just got to visit Sunset Country. Having spent a lifetime fishing all over North America, I know a lot about water, wind, and waves. Water can be an inviting place, and yet at the same time, it can also be very unforgiving. With a simple push of a button, this fully adjustable Smooth Moves Air Suspension is designed to tame the waves and give you a smooth and comfortable ride no matter what conditions you face. Tame the water, wind, and waves with Smooth Moves. Deer or ducks? Gun or bow? It's hunting season, and Fleet Farm has everything you need to master the hunt this year because it's blaze oranges in season. It's better in the blind season, the buck stops here season, hanging with the buddies season, and of course, ready, set, point season. Fleet Farm is built for every season. Fleet Farm, built for real life. You want more Angling Edge? Well, our Facebook, YouTube, and website are constantly being updated. It's like overtime of your favorite show. 
Check out the store with the brand new apparel. And purchase five DVDs at the incredibly low price of $25. That's five DVDs for just 25 bucks. Place an order at anglingedge.com. The Edge is presented by these and other fine sponsors. About that. Those are money fish. The there, are yeah, really. Hit her back. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Got him, got him, big one, big one, big one. Big, big fish. Got him. Oh, oh that's, I feel a good one. Oh, look at that, look at that baby, Jim. Uh, wind kicked up pretty good. Out on these deep rocks, look at this. Another one of these monsters. Uh, uh, look at that. Wow, these fish look so perfect. Look at that, they're not beat up at all. They've been rested all winter, huh? Beautiful fish. Boy, that wind is hauling pretty good, Jim. I don't know, we'll, we'll fish this corner here and kind of wrap, wrap, wrap it up. We got your boat broken in right. Got, got to play with some of the new toys. Everything is operating. We're ready for the filming season. You happen to be able to join us on our first show for the 2018 filming season, which you're seeing right now in 2019. And it was a fun one. We just gave you just kind of like a fun day on the water, poking some really big early season bass. Love it, and thanks for being with us. Hey, you know, all of us at one point in our life have seen, heard, or read something that burned into our heart and became real to us. Many, many years ago, I read a little piece of a strip of paper like this and I cut it out and I put it, it's on my mirror in my bathroom and I look at it every single day. What it simply says is your work is a portrait of you. Autograph it with excellence. Can I say that again? Your work is a portrait of you. Autograph it with excellence. That burned into my heart, it became real to me. Every day, every project I'm on, I look at this, excellence, excellence, excellence. And when I think about that, there's a scripture, and like there is for everything, it's in Matthew 5, 16. Real simple, it reinforces what I just said. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. This is one of those things in life that I'll never forget. That scripture and that little, little word, your work is a portrait of you. Autograph it with excellence. Something to think about this week. Hey, from all of us here at The Edge, have a good safe fishing season. We'll see you on the water. Hey, I wanna take a moment to thank you for watching. And if you really like what you see, we got a whole lot more. So check us out at any one of these online outlets. You know, in fishing, there are good days and there are great days. Time is just a wink from the Almighty. We plan, target, rig, and play the game like everyone else.